Hey there guys, it's Chaos Maelstrom time, and welcome to a hat in time! Ignore the Nyakuza Metro, that just goes to show that it's got the uh, most recent DLC update. But, um, yeah, this is a hat in time. It's an actually good crowdfunding game. I know, it's hard to believe. Um, so, this is a really wacky adventure by Gears for Breakfast, and uh, I just absolutely love it. I played it on a whim because I heard good things about it continuously, and I'm so glad I did. This is really a game that I feel like maybe not everybody should play, but everybody should definitely see, because it is just so much fun for everybody. And I'm glad I finally get to show it with you all. Get to see all the characters floating around, doing their own little thing. We'll get to know all these guys soon enough, don't you worry. But, um... Far be it for me to keep you here. Let's go ahead and get into the main menu. Alright, so these are my more recent files. As you can see, uh... I swear that doesn't mean anything, it just means... Listen, Bo Kid doesn't show up when you're given the chance to draw on her face, so... I, I thought there was nobody here, so I just said no. Uh, we're gonna create a new file. <laughs> Uh, Bo Kid is the Player 2 character. We won't be seeing much of her, but we will be seeing her here and there. Uh, so yeah, uh, these are the two DLC packs that we, that we know we have. Let's go ahead and create our new file and get right into this. Far be it for me to keep you here. Uh, let's just see what this game has to offer. We can choose to start a game as uh, the main character Hackett or as Bo Kid instead. Um... We will be seeing Bo Kid again, and it just does it right to play it as Hat Kid, so we're just gonna start as Hat Kid. And welcome to yet another day of space adventure. You are only five light years away from your destination, home. The fuel tank is full and the ship is flying at full speed. Today's to-do list contains waking up, adjusting the Anyways, welcome to her spaceship. Her specifically being Hat Kid. That, that's not the emote I wanted to do. I wanted to do this. There we go. Hat Kid is adorable and wonderful. And a perfect protagonist. Of course, she also is a kid, so don't look at her anything more than that. She is a kid. Of course, she is also technically a space alien, so we don't know. This could be her adult form. I don't know. But we do actually from the beta have concept art, and we have seen Hat Adult, so... That's the one we lewd, not Hat Kid. To those of you who tried to lewd Hat Kid... Yeah, that's what you get. Okay, anyway, we have our, uh, Cushion Ocean here. Uh, very nice to have. I love swimming around in this stuff. Alright. But, enough of that. Uh, let's go over here and check our wardrobe. A closet! You only really wear one outfit, so there's room for skeletons. Um, yeah, we'll be getting more outfits later. How so, I shouldn't exactly tell, but... It's going to, uh... It's going to make us suffer. A lot. That I'll probably save for a live stream, so you all can watch me suffer in real time. Alright, in there we got a pawn. They're basically our currency. So, hold on to those. Uh... I love it how we can just sit in this chair and spin around. This game is very, uh, oh! And it slows down, yeah. I love all the little atmospheric changes you can do, it's wonderful. Okay, but as much as I can gush about the bedroom and how wonderful everything is here, we got the mobile, we got that wonderful wallpaper with all these different designs on it, we got the schematic for the spaceship itself, which I'm surprised we have. We ha do have a job to do, so let's get out of here. 
I freaking love this music, by the way. Um, I believe the composer for this game is he's called Pascal Michael Stifle. Um, Future Sean will correct me if I got that wrong. But, oh my god, I love how this game composes. And here we meet the best character in the game, people. Okay, maybe not the best character in the game, but... One of the nicest and sweetest and most cute characters in the game. We got Roomby the Roomba. If we want to, we can just follow him around. Also, uh, hold still, Roomby. There we go. We can sit on top of him and make it really hard for him to move around. But yeah. We're not going to be too much of a jerk to him. Uh, because he is precious and doesn't do anything wrong. Therefore, nothing bad should happen to him. We got some stuff over here that we can't do anything with yet. We got our captain's stair that we could sit and spin in if we really wanted to. We got a door to the outside here. I don't suggest you open that. I mean, if there are any floating spacemen who want to come by and just knock on it, that's fine. But we're not opening that door. Oh, I didn't know there was a 8-bit var variation for this theme that plays when you sit in front of the table. Or, the TV. There might be a way you could play this game if you have, like, the uh, PC version. You might be able to mod it to do so, but, uh... Yeah, there's nothing you can really do there, uh, in this version of the game. This is the Switch port, I might add. So, unfortunately, we're not going to have access to everything in the game. We just have the main two DLC bundles uh, with uh, Seal the Deal and Yakuza Metro. We're going to be playing through that much of the game. Also, I'm telling you right now, all of Death Wish, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I'll try. I'll, that's the stuff I'm going to be streaming when we get to it, but yeah. Alright, so uh, now we're going to finally get into the powers of our hats. Every hat has its own power. We'll be getting a few more down the way, but you're going to be learning to use them a lot more. Uh, right now, our hat is telling us to go over here and... Oh, what did you know it? We got a spaceman at our door. What is this? Flying boat? All boats need to pay toll in Mafia Town. Even in space! Mafia come in to collect. Oh, rule! usual, before starting any adventure into the wonderful world, the Mafia has to ruin everything. Okay, maybe that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I don't care. Yeah, so we, that is it. We're automatically flung forward and forced to do our first mission right away. For, first to do our, forced to do our first mission right away. Anyway, welcome to Mafia Town. This was all your fault! You've ruined everything! Now do you know how long we're gonna be sucked into this? Well, whatever. It's thanks to this guy we have a wonderful, awesome game. Oh, look at the cute little roaches. They're so cute in this game that I can't really... Yeah, they look cute. Without the legs, they actually look kinda cute. Anyway, let's move on ahead. Oh! 
Wow, it's another kid. We must follow them. That was so cool looking. Hey, hey, listen, can you teach me your ways? I need to know. Teach me the ways of beating up the Mafia. They ruined my spaceship, so now I have to... Yeah. Did fellow Mafia watch TV last night? Confusing science owls say small people can jump double in air. I saw. This makes Mafia uncomfortable with body. Must go work out. So yes, we have Mafia here. Mafia always talk like, well, this. Anyway, Mafia can double jump. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I, I'm not getting into that again. If I start talking in a Mafia voice, I will do that for the entire game. Or the entire episode, and we can't have that. Hello there. All roads lead to Mafia. Not good. Big immigration problems. <laughs> we fix this by moving to Ireland. Now no road lead to Mafia. I, I love the humor in this game. Uh, we got a red vault code. Uh... We can collect all those. We can open up the uh, red vault, which will have something useful in it. This is a heart pawn. Uh, unlike normal pawns, they uh, refill your um, heart gauge every time you take a damage. You have four units of, of damage energy. All right. Uh, let's see here. So, yeah. Mafia Town, I'm not going to lie, is kind of huge and very daunting the first time you get to it. Why well, have fun when you can work? Join Mafia today. Not like you have a choice if you talk like Mafia already. <clears throat> right. I'm sorry. I'm going to be having so much fun. Uh, here's the red vault. We can go and uh, touch it to see where the uh, remaining code is. Got him. Now we should be able to open this. Alright, we get a whole bunch of pawns. And a sprint yarn. Uh, what these are for will become apparent later after we collect a second one. Because we're gonna need two. Hello, Mafia. Uh, hello, fellow Mafia. You you can understand me because I talk like this. I am Mafia and not little girl. <clears throat> right. Okay. I will. Yeah, that was rude. Okay. Uh, hello again. Hi there. I see you have a mustache. Um, what's it like being a little kid with a mustache? Here we can see uh, she did something in midair uh, called the dive. We can use that to move forward a bit more. That was not how you dive. It's which which button was it again? Shoot. Okay, it was this button. Okay, it was ZR. Also, we got this guy rolling around on a giant piece of cartoon meat, which I absolutely love. It just adds a whole lot of personality to the mafia, as well as showing off our early hazards. And here, um, if we can talk to this guy, we're going to meet one of the creepiest yet friendliest NPCs in the game. Hi there, young one. I am from a faraway land. I've seen every corner of the earth, and now I sell tiny pieces of my discoveries. You may call me the badge seller, for I sell and trade badges. I can provide you with strong abilities and upgrades to your hat. If you have money, of course. So yeah, the badge seller. We're going to be um, using these. Uh, some badges don't have very helpful effects. You can tell that by the flies circling them. But we're going to be needing a lot of these. Um, I want to go ahead and collect 50 of these real quick. Just so I can get that item magnet badge. That will be very helpful. Especially early on when we don't have a whole lot of uh, money. It'll make collecting money all the more easy. Uh, we got our first enemies there. We don't really have a way of defending ourselves yet. Uh, most we can do is do a dive attack in midair by pressing the Y button when we're close to an enemy. And that will home in on enemies for us. It is also a very good attack. Hello there. You feeling good, buddy? Ow! Okay, note to self, we're not doing that again. Uh, yeah, so we just took damage there. I just love this game's sense of humor, how everything is all off. Hey, don't go away, I was about to talk to you! You'll wake up not feeling like punching. See, even Mafia job is hard. Alright, so yeah. <laughs> oh, she did that automatically that time, that wasn't even me. 
Uh, Welcome, young one. Yeah, give Please me a bag. Make a purchase at my humble stall. That's what I'm here for. Give me that magnet badge. All right. So this will make uh, getting things a bit easier. This will also be helpful in uh, later. Uh, Oh, it automatically equipped that for us. All right. As I was saying, this will also be helpful in uh, later instances where um, we need to uh, collect items um, easier. Like, watch how far away it, it is. Uh... You see, I didn't even have to touch it that time. That time it came in into me when I was uh, just a little bit uh, further away. Okay, there we go. Mafia's beating up old man. That wasn't me, I swear, she did that on her own! Again, sometimes she does that on her own if she sees the Mafia being jerks or whatever. Uh, I cannot, uh, oh wait! Yes I can, I can get in there. And, we can get ourselves another piece of yarn! Now that we have two pieces of yarn, and depending on uh, which kind of yarn we get, if we collect a new type of yarn, we can unlock the schematic for a new kind of hat. But for now, we're going to go ahead and do this. We now have a sprint hat, so we now have the ability to sprint. Anytime we want to uh, switch between our hats, we can uh, use the, um, the side little thingy there. Or we can press the L button and switch between which hat we want manually. When we have more hats, we're going to be using that a lot more. But, yeah, for the most part, we're going to be uh, brain. For now, we're going to go ahead and uh, use that. So we, the Sprint Hat's power allows us to run faster. This will make chasing down the uh, kid with the mustache a lot easier. So get over here! Hey! I outran you that time. Excuse me. Hey you! Down there! Don't think I didn't see you stalking me! Well, yeah, I mean, I made it pretty obvious. I just wanted to talk! should stick together, not stalk one another. I mean, Mafia Town can be a really dangerous place. So what'd you say? Wanna join my little rebellion? Rebellion? Well, you know, the Mafia did kind of destroy and uh, ruin my spaceship, so... Yeah, that might be nice. Uh... Oh, by the way, did you have anything to do with the junk falling from the sky? Yeah? Yikes! Looks like you've got a lot of cleaning up to do, huh? It's not junk, it's very dangerous junk, thank you. Tell you what, come up here and I can show you where some of your junk landed. Don't you be talking about my junk like that. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, so, uh, that's Mustache Kid. Uh, she is basically not really an antithesis to Hat Kid at all. That's not quite right. Uh, she's sort of a parallel reflection character of Hat Kid at the moment. There we go. Follow me, Rebel Squad. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I bonked against the, uh, the edge there. There is a badge that will give us the power to avoid, uh, bonking our heads against everything when we dive into it. So, we're gonna keep an eye out for that once we get the availability to do that. Uh, so for now, we'll follow Mustache Kid and get some of our junk back. Hey! One of your junk pieces fell and smashed right into the market's bounty. Messed it up real good. I think it was messed up real good before that fell, but, uh, I don't know. Future Sean will be the judge of that. Future Sean, was the fountain already messed up? I, I can't remember. When going over there, just avoid making eye contact with the Mafia and you'll be fine. Good luck, fellow rebel. See ya! Alright. Later, mustache kid. You do you. I'm gonna go and, uh, grab. <laughs> I forgot about this. In cold we trust. True what mafia words to live by. Okay. Uh. Oh, hey, it's you again. You wanna. You, you know, maybe you've changed your ways, and maybe you're feeling good about yourself. Yeah, come on. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake and. Ah! Okay, 
We're never talking to that guy again, period. Mafia is, not gonna lie, Mafia are kind of jerks. Uh, but yeah. Hatsuki has had enough. Uh, oh! Hold on, first of all, let me uh, grab that heart pawn over there, because I think I'm gonna need it. Hello, Mafia. Alright. Give me my sprint yarn. And, oh, that was the wrong button. Yeah, I gotta get used to controls again. It's been a long time since I've last played this. <laughs> anyway, give me that timepiece. Huh? Hey! Oh? Okay. Yep. Uh, uh. Uh. Hey! <laughs> give me! Oh. Oh. So now we have a weapon. Diplomacy didn't work. Time for action. There we go. All we had to do was kill a man, and we got our first objective done. <laughs> Hooray! So yeah, we're back in our spaceship now. Yeah. If we want to, we could beat Ruby Senseless with our umbrella. But we don't want to do that because... We do get money, but it's not worth it. Ruby didn't do anything wrong. But now our bedroom is closed off. We can no longer even go back to sleep. That's how devastated we are from just losing all of this stuff. But however, we can go back over here and unlock this area. Power has been restored in the main hall. The chapter Mafia Town is now available. So now we can go back to the Mafia Town chapter anytime we want. And anyway, uh, oh, this song. There's stuff I want to talk about with this song, but uh, we'll get to that when we get to that. But um, let me tell you, we're gonna say a name that I've been longing to say in my videos again for quite a while. Anyway. Next time on A Hat in Time, we're going to go back to Mafia Town and uh, see what else we can do there. See what else we can cook up. Get it, guys? Because I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> I, I, I crack myself up. Anyway, I'll get out of your hair. It's time we ended off the episode for now, anyway. It might not have been that long, but... Because I cut out some of the loading segments. Loading segments in this game are long, man. So yeah, next time... We'll get back to Mafia Town in the next chapter, which we have to pay five pawns to do. Uh, I don't think that's right. Well, we'll get there when we get there. For now, we have the second act, which will be Act 2, Barrel Battle. Chapter Mafia Town population 300. Wait, but we killed the man last time. The pop population should be 379, 378, not 379. <clears throat> anyway, recover fallen timepiece, purpose, perspiration. Hopefully not. Yeah, next time we'll do a barrel battle. So far be it for me to keep you here. Uh, I'm saying stuff like that a lot lately. We're ending this. See you guys next time. Later's. Day one. So, I'm stranded. A big guy in a chef's apron and a suit knocked on my door and decided to mess everything up. Apparently they're the mafia of cooks. Why couldn't I have gotten stranded near a normal planet? <laughs>